What's up guys, it's Bromley from Empire Barbell and this is how you viper press a log. With a lot of the contests, especially at the amateur level, speed is a massive component. At the amateur level, weights are very light, so they'll try to pick a weight for a rep event that everybody can at least get a few reps on. Well, that means the better guys are gonna get in the teens, I've seen into the 20s on some events. But when you only have a minute to do that, you have to be able to cycle through those reps very quickly. A one motion log is a big advantage if you're in a medley where time is a huge factor, or if you're doing a clean and press every rep where time is a huge factor. When you have to take that log from the ground into your lap overhead and back down and cycle through that repeatedly for a minute straight, efficiency is key. And what you're gonna find is that as you push press each rep or jerk each rep, you're gonna waste time and a little bit of energy. So by getting a Viper press down, you can save that energy and you can actually cycle through reps more efficiently, but it does take a little bit of practice. My best contest performance on this event was 270 pounds for nine reps in one minute. Go, Alex! Let's go! Eight, Now, I'm pretty proud of that number by itself, even if it wasn't being timed. But what made that number so difficult to get in training was the blistering pace that I had to keep. I would, in my mind, keep a steady pace and finish strong through the minute time limit, only to find out that I only came out with seven or eight reps. Getting that extra rep at the last second was a matter of getting my first few reps out much faster. Now, just to demonstrate, what I'm gonna do with the Viper Press is use the power of my hips on the clean to generate momentum so that by the time my elbows are up and I'm in the rack position, I can keep that momentum going and firing through. The idea is the speed you generate on the way up transfers as you press the log overhead. It's the same principle as a push press, using your legs to jump up through the log and finish out with your arms. So as with all log cleans, you're gonna deadlift first, sit down, and hit your upper body. Now this is crucial. As I come up into the clean, I'm rocking forward through my hips, at the last minute, I'm rotating my elbows under and I'm going straight into the press the very second my elbows get under my hands. With all presses, your elbow has to be under your hand. If you're trying to do a military press and your elbow's back, you're not gonna have any leverage, you're not gonna do very well. So with the clean, you have to time it so that the split second your elbow is under the log, you're driving up and back. Timing is huge here, and you're gonna do a bunch of reps before you finally get one that clicks. So just to demonstrate the difference, imagine I'm doing a minute long clean and press every rep. See how long it takes me to get a few reps with two different styles. Stand up, sit down, clean, get my breath, push press, and then let it down, reset. Stand up, sit, clean, breath, push press, and then let it down. This is how you see a lot of people do reps on a clean and press. They think that if you shed the log, you're gonna save energy. Well, that might be true. You don't have the luxury of saving that time. You have to be able to get the log to the ground and get it right back up. So in a clean and press every rep, I really recommend practicing a touch and go where every rep hits the ground and comes right back up into your lap. That allows you to compress reps together, but it's also a psychological advantage. Every time the log comes to a dead stop and you have to gather yourself to pick it back up, you're defeating yourself a little bit. By hitting the ground and coming right back up into your lap, you're committing to the next rep. And by the time it's in your lap, you have no choice but to go into the next rep. I've used this many times very successfully to edge out better pressers than me by a rep or two when there's a heavy clean and press each rep in a contest. So to show how different the setup is, if I'm gonna Viper press, deadlift into my lap, and then control on the way down, Touch right back up into my lap. So as you see, that's not only a very powerful way to get the log over your head, but it saves a ton of time. I always recommend starting with lightweight, get the timing down first, then start to progress in weight. You're not gonna get it on the first time, that's okay. Always remember, coordination and stability comes before power and strength. And that's how you Viper press a log.